It's lights out, and away we go. Verstappen does start very well. Sebastian Vettel covers it across. Bottas has got a fight on his hands against Verstappen, and he loses out, but going into turn two, tries to fight back again. It's wheel to wheel. As Vettel goes away, Bottas gets ahead of Max Verstappen. Then comes Lewis Hamilton, Daniel Ricciardo ahead of Kimi Raikkonen, and Esteban Ocon on the inside going into the chicane of Nico Hulkenberg, but just a bit too far back. Oh, and there's a massive crash. It's Brendan Hartley, and he's got tangled up with Lance Stroll. And coming out chicane hardly got squeezed up against the fence but Williams an innocent bystander in that and for the second race running Brendan Harley is out this time it wasn't a car crashing into him it was him crashing into Lance Stroll and it was Stroll just ahead who left him no room whatsoever these things happen on the first lap in Canada Yeah, I'll beat you, okay? They got a puncture. No, they got a puncture. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. He just ran me out of the road. Stroll got some oversteer in the middle of the corner. The back end stepped out. He had to counter stay. He had to turn into the slide, just like you do on an icy road. We're going to get this race going once again. Sebastian Vettel will get the jump. Watch Verstappen behind Bottas. Watch Bottas go as well. We are racing here in Montreal. Vettel leads Bottas. Verstappen, Hamilton, Ricardo Raikkonen. Ocon ahead now of Nico Hulkenberg as well. As soon as turn one, they go. And Sebastian Vettel got a great restart there. And, and going wide, some Sergio Perez in the Force India, getting it all wrong down at turn one. Cold tyres, cold brakes. It's caught him out, and Perez going tumbling down the rankings as a result. Uh, let's have a look at it here. Oh, and he made contact right. with Carlos Sainz. Sergio Perez, we've seen going into the barriers after tangling with Felipe Massa before. That time it was Sainz. Perez hit me very hard. Man, what did Sainz do? He just took me off. Meanwhile, there's uh, Charles Leclerc on Fernando Alonso. Charles Leclerc having a great old scrap there in 10th place. This has been quite a story this year, hasn't it? Alonso trying to beat the youngster. And can he get past the youngster? Let us see. Into turn one we go. Alonso is forced wide as he tries to move past the Sauber. Has to yield. Red stripe, super soft tyre, and also for Lewis Hamilton as well. Where does Hamilton feed into this race? That's Leclerc coming through. Ideally, he'd want to be ahead of the Sauber and the way oh, it works. He's so out. wide. Lewis got so wide coming out of a very dusty pit lane. Now, Ricardo has responded here. He's responded with what could be the fastest lap. They're hurtling down the main straight at nearly 200 miles an hour. And coming out now, Daniel Ricardo into the racetrack proper. Daniel Ricardo has got ahead of Lewis Hamilton. Come on, boys. What good stuff. Why do we fit so early? Yeah, so Lewis, yeah, the stop was brought early. See if we could sort this PU problem. It's uh, helped at least a little bit. Now Lewis Hamilton is making his way through the final chicane as Raikkonen now makes his way out on the super soft tyres. There is the Red Bull of Daniel Ricciardo and there's the Williams of uh, Sergei Sorokin and Hamilton just behind him. Sorokin oh, oh, wanted Sorokin. to move out of the way but did get in the way and is that going to hamper Hamilton? No, he just stays ahead of Kimi Raikkonen and that could have been all sorts of bother there. But in the end, no real harm done. OK, this is strap five, it's hammer time. Oh, not, not again. Fernando Alonso retired from this race last year, went and sat in the grandstand with the fans. We need to retire, but we'll return to the garage. We will return to the garage. 300th Grand Prix weekend for Fernando Alonso and that sinking feeling that he experienced way too often on his return to McLaren and Zach Brown not happy at all, the chief executive officer, absolute waste of her heart. Sorry, mate, gutted. Oh, and that's Roman Grosjean coming into the pits. We've seen this before, you have to be a bit careful if the car in front. Mate, did you see what Ocon did to me? And that is Valtteri Bottas trying to get past Carlos Sainz. Yeah, on all the wrong part of the racetrack. And that's there we go. So. Science. So Science led him through, and then Bottas is about to make a mistake. Right there. And that's just undone all the good work yeah. he, he's put in over the last three laps. Yeah. And do you know how Gyrate much? there. And how much time did he lose to Sebastian Vettel in that first sector? 1.8 seconds. 
and it's going to go HBP1, position 1, 1, position 1. That gives you everything on the overtake. And the tail of that Mercedes has never been dialed into the racetrack all weekend. It looks like it's just been dancing around trying to get the power down. Very low pressure in the rear tyre. Mm. We are on to the final lap of this race. Kimi Raikkonen in the top six, bit detached. Hamilton's trying to gain on Daniel Ricciardo, who's responded. The checker flag is being waved, but we're waiting for the race leader on that checker flag. And Sebastian Vettel is out and turns eight and seven at the moment. Tell them not to wave the checker flag when it's not done yet. One lap, one lap. And he will retake the championship lead. Sebastian Vettel wins the Canadian Grand Prix and has led this race from start to finish. Bottas finishing ahead of Verstappen. Ricardo comfortably then ahead of Hamilton after all that. Yep, coming home, it was one tenth of a second between Bottas and Verstappen. Ricardo holds off Lewis Hamilton. Kimi Raikkonen will take sixth place. P1, Sebastian, P1. Grande vittoria. Bravissimo. Grande lavoro, grande. Grande, grazie mille. Grazie, ragazzi. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Grazie. Grazie.